Community Vet Council, established by an act of parliament actually in 1993, was established to coordinate TVET at the tertiary level. And by TVET, we mean technical and vocational education and training and establish occupational standards and establish training priorities, tests and qualifications, as well as advise the minister on policy relating to the discipline of TVET. TVET Council itself doesn't exactly offer training. Mm -hmm. The training is actually done by the educational institutions. So you won't be able to come to TVET Council to do a course in cosmetology or a course in, in, in care painting or cabinet making. However, we at TVET Council develop the occupational standards and the occupational standards are the benchmark for the job role. That is, the occupational standards are, are basically statements which identify what an individual should know and understand and be able to do in order to perform competently in a job role. We also develop competence-based curricula. So the curricula, the curricula is actually based on the occupational standards, help to guide the teaching and the training process. And we also offer the really awarding body for national vocational qualifications, as well as Caribbean vocational qualifications. And our occupational standards form the basis of these qualifications. So when you're assessed on the standard for cosmetology, you're then awarded the Caribbean or national vocational qualification for cosmetology. Right, so there are the public institutions. There is the Barbados Vocational Training Board, BVTB. There is the Samuel Jackman Prescott Institute of Technology. So what happens is that these employers or training institutions would write to TVET Council saying that they're interested in becoming an assessment center with us. Um, so you have to first gain center approval and we send in our auditors to do the, the center approval process and then for each specific qualification you need to have approval for that as well so then they need to submit an application for a specific qualification approval as well so if you want to offer accounting you need to submit an application for accounting if you want to offer beauty therapy you need to submit an application for beauty therapy as well and for persons or for institutions to gain qualification approval in these areas you need to have um, the facilities, obviously, because we want to expect that you want to offer beauty therapy, but you only have a, a mobile workshop. And by mobile workshop, I mean for automotive, automotive technology or what's not. You need to have all the resources necessary to deliver the training and to facilitate these assessments as well. The vet embraces what we call the competence-based education and training methodology, the CBET methodology. Mm -hmm. That is, it's not just theory or it's not just practical, it, it goes hand in hand, it's about competence, it's about an individual being able to do and understanding what is required to, to complete a job role. TVET is important because TVET, the discipline, is actually preparing individuals for the world of work. Technical, okay. vocational, education and training. It is education and training geared towards work readiness. And as I said before, it's not only about you having the knowledge, but it's also about you having the skills that are required to perform a job role. So I may be able to read a couple books and tell you everything about restaurant service, Danny, but when it comes to interacting with the customers, when it comes to um, delivering a geared on service or, or carving a fruit, I may not have the requisite skills to do those things. So it's about competence as well. And, and if you want to have a competitive workforce, then your workforce needs to be competent. You don't just want people out in the world of work who just know. You want people who are able to also competently carry out tasks. Dispel the notion that TVET is, is only skills or it's only good with your hands or what's not. You need to have the underpinning knowledge, as we call it as well. Because how can you operate in a... In a, in a scenario where something changes from what you had in, in training. Um, 
I can tell you how to deal with a customer, but what if a customer comes in confused? What if a customer comes in angry? Do you know how to deal with, with, with both customers? So you need to also have that underpinning knowledge. So it's not only about good with hands, it's also you need to have that knowledge so that you know what to do and when to do it. Thank you.